Yeah, but you're, you're definitely a 5-9 plus. Yes, sir. Doing just fine. Sir. Solid, yes, sir, it does. Trace it when I get up there. Yeah, I'm way out on the northeast side of town. Uh, going towards the airport. Okay, uh, copy that. So, uh, Frank, how, how well you copy uh, Robbie? Oh, I always get a good copy of Robbie. Uh, but he's off of, uh, sure, it's kind of high. Yeah. 
I need to go up a little bit higher. Uh, and uh, so I'll put it up on it once we get it working and uh, see how it, uh, how it operates up there about 45 feet to foot. Okay. And uh, I'll put it up on it once we get it working and uh, see how it uh, how it operates up there about 45 feet to foot. Part that rotates is right here. No, it's got a penis on it. Depending on the frequency of course. 
hardly go up there. Well, it used to. We'd go up there about at least four, maybe five times a year. And uh, stay up there for, you know, four or five days at a time and then come back. And you want me to deer. just leave this rope on it? About 25 herd of uh, turkeys there and had a bunch of bobwhite quails. Huh? Had a bunch of chuckers. Quails? And, yeah. Uh, and all the turkeys and a uh, whole bunch of deer. And I, I had those deer coming up to eat out of my hand before we left. Nah, you'd get caught before you get started. <laughs> They're through there all the time. Yeah. What do you want me to do with this? But, uh, okay, you want me to untie it right here? You know, with no rain, no nothing, and there's very little bit okay. of where they eat anymore. So they don't really say anything, but you're not supposed to be feeding them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I take about a 16 ounce styrofoam cup full of corn out there and set on the picnic table and throw it out in the bushes. And it wouldn't be long till they'd be up there uh, eating that stuff, and they'd come up there within three foot of me while I was sitting there on the park bench. Oh, you're such a real Bobby. Come on, you need to say it's a <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, we were sitting there in the, in the thing, and I had some... I went to town. I didn't have any corn with me, and I went up there and I fought some... Uh, You can't see that yeah, in there from here. Yeah, we got profiles that the uh, game board stopped and walked right up to us. We just 
W5PKY, that might be me accidentally keying the mic. I'm up here on Jim's tower right now. Okay, Colin, yeah, we're copying you. We'll uh, be safe and you know, monitor the tower and uh, don't, don't worry about it on the radio. KF5RG. Hey, Michael, KF5TXU. Hey, I'm over here at Marshall Sharp and uh, Milwaukee. Uh, my signal better? That is better. Of course, I was reading you pretty well uh, before. But, yeah, if you go ahead and uh, transmit again, I'll, I'll, I'll check the signal on it. Actually, I'm gonna shut off my mobile here and I'm gonna get out my Wojang or Wojing or whatever this Chinese radio is. I just got it brand new, so uh, I'm gonna shut this off and I'll be back in a minute with the other one. Okay, hang on before you go, Michael. I'm hearing you better over here. Uh, Robbie, are you here? Michael, uh, KF5 RRT? Oh, yeah. No problem. Okay, so uh, Robbie there is uh, just southeast of Escada High School, about a, uh, about a half a mile. That's for your reference. So uh, get on that handy talkie and then see what you can do. WR50. Hey, uh, WR50, uh, Brent. Hey, I'm over at Milwaukee and Marsha Sharp, so I'll be right back. Yeah, I heard you. All right. Mm. What? No, I cut myself on a wire though. Not bad, just a scratch. Okay, yeah, you're at about a, uh, about a four, but the signal's really low. It's, it's down probably about a, about a four as well. Okay, yeah, that one actually jumped up. Did you turn the power on it, or did you huh? change the direction you're facing? Huh? Nope, I'm actually on top of the overpass right now. Okay, yeah, because your signal jumped up to nine on that. Yeah. Robbie, did you copy him on that uh, HD? <laughs> yeah, I copy most of it. Uh, he was louder when he first started talking than he was uh, after he turned. Uh, you said he got louder than you put a nine on you. I couldn't. Okay, yeah, he said he was at the uh, top of an overpass. Uh, no, in between uh, transmissions, I have clear air. Oh, I must be getting the interference off that. Oh, for that, uh... Oh, shoot, I don't know what you call that thing down there. You Southwest connection, but I don't know what you call 